Do you know by implementing Cloudflare with Lightspeed Cache plugin, you can make your website really fast. So when you use Lightspeed Cache plugin with Cloudflare, that brings a lot of benefit to your website. One of them is the free CDN, which is really, really fast. So you optimize your website using Lightspeed Cache plugin and then use free Cloudflare CDN, which is going to really game changing thing for your website. Okay, let me show you how you can do that. So first thing you need to implement Cloudflare with Lightspeed Cache plugin, you need to have Lightspeed Cache plugin on your website installed and activated. So when you install Lightspeed Cache plugin, you go to CDN and then you will find this option Cloudflare API. And what do you do here? You turn this on. And now you have two options here. The easiest one to add the global API key here. Second one is to add your email address and the Lightspeed Cache is gonna authenticate with your Cloudflare account when you log in. So we're gonna use the easiest method which is to add the global API key here. So what you need to do is, first of all, create a free account on cloudflare.com and then when you log inside, click add a site and then you need to add your website domain name. Make sure do not add HTTP or HTTPS and then click on add site. And once you click on add site, Cloudflare is going to present you some more option to check. And after that, you will be given these two name servers, which you need to replace with your current name servers. I already created a detailed video how to add website on Cloudflare. So if you want to check that video, check a link to that video in the description. So once you get these name servers, you go to the domain panel and then you replace your old name servers with a new one, which just Cloudflare gave you. And once you have done that, click on check name servers and your website will be added on Cloudflare. It might take few hours, but normally it works very fast. In few minutes, you have your website added to the Cloudflare. And if you're getting some knowledge out of this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I create this unique content which you'll not find easily on YouTube without wasting any of your time. So if you subscribe to the channel, that will be amazing. So once your website is added to Cloudflare, you will see this message. Great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. When you scroll the page on the right side, you will have this option, get your API token. And now you will see these two options, global API key and origin CA key. So what you need to do is click on global API key, click on view, then you will get this key. Make sure to protect this key like a password as they say, because this is really important for your website security. And once you copy the key, just paste the key here in Lightspeed cache settings, and then click on save changes. So once you save the changes, when you hover on this icon, which is shortcut for Lightspeed Cache plugin, you'll see this option, Purge All Cloudflare. So what will happen now? So when you want to clean your website cache, you can directly clean the Cloudflare cache from here. Because sometimes what happens, Cloudflare got their own cache and your website plugin, for example, Lightspeed Cache or any other plugin, they got their own cache. So sometimes you clean your cache on your website, but not on Cloudflare. So you need to log into Cloudflare and then you need to clear the cache from there. But if you implement your Cloudflare with Lightspeed Cache plugin, like this, how I've shown you, now they both are communicating. The Cloudflare and Lightspeed Cache plugin, they're communicating with each other and you can clear the cache directly from here. And by this way, you can get the best benefit out of Lightspeed Cache plugin and Cloudflare Global CDN. And guys, sometimes when you test your website after this, you will see this error unable to resolve because if you have just changed your domain name servers, then you will see this error. But when you refresh the result in a few minutes, you will see I'm scoring 100 out of 100 for desktop devices and 95 out of 100 for mobile devices. And with time, when you go refresh the result, they will be even better. If you get some value out of this tutorial, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That will be awesome. And if you want to watch a detailed video, how to implement Lightspeed Cache on your website, check out this video on screen. And if you want to know how to implement Cloudflare on your website, check out this other video on screen.